and Mars. Mars is a small, rocky planet which is cold and lifeless. Astronomers are very interested in this planet. Why? Because it has interesting pairings and features. So two of its features are Olympus Mons and Valley Marinari. Olympus Mons is the biggest mountain in solar system. It is 24 kilometers high and 500 kilometers wide. Next, Valley Marineri. Valley Marineri is a network of canyons that run 400,000 400, kilometers long and stand from 2 to 7 kilometers tall. So there's a picture of Mars here. So this feature is Valley Marineri. Mars has ice caps at both poles. It is most, mostly made up of solid carbon dioxide. We call it the dry ice. Also, the planet has very strong winds and vast dust, dust storms. Lastly, Mars has two tiny moons. Their names are Phobos and Deimos. So, this big moon is Phobos and this smaller moon is Deimos. Next, Jupiter. Basically, Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. It is 318 times bigger than Earth. Also, the planet does not have a solid surface because it is made up of gases. Also, it has whirls and bands that are tops of clouds high in its atmosphere. Jupiter is a gas giant which is made up of about 90% hydrogen and 10% helium. Jupiter's most outstanding feature is called the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is a high pressure region whose cloud tops are much higher and more denser. So here there's a picture of Jupiter again, and this feature, or this one, is the Great Red Spot. Jupiter also has faint rings, like the other gas planets, but its rings are much smaller and more darker. Also, Jupiter has 63 confirmed moons, so it has many moons, but only 16 of it are most recognized, and the most popular are the Galilean moons. So the Galilean moons are shown in the, in the picture on the right. So from top, this would be Io, then Europa, then the biggest moon in solar system and of Jupiter, Ganymede, and Callisto. Now, Saturn. Saturn is a gas giant which is made up of about 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. Its rings unlike the other rings of the other gas planets, are very, very bright because it is made up of water ice and other frosty particles with icy coatings. But Saturn rings are extraordinarily thin. Why? Because, it's, because it is wide enough in its diameter. Also, when viewing Saturn through a small telescope, it will appear a bit square. Why? Because its structure isn't very rigid, and it, and it becomes slightly, slightly compressed because it spins very quickly. <clears throat> Saturn also has long blip spots. Just like Jupiter's great red spot, there are also areas where big storms are occurring. When it is the nighttime sky, Saturn can be easily visible to the naked eye, and it is easy to identify because it doesn't twinkle like the other planets or stars. Saturn has 61 confirmed moons, but only 52 of it have names. 11 of it are the most recognized. Titan, Tethys, Dione, Rhea, Lapidus, Mimas, Enceladus, Hyperion, and Phoebe, Janus, and Epimetai. Just like Jupiter, Saturn also has bands. So here, there's a picture of Saturn. This is its rings, I mean rings, 
It is very, very wide, as you can see, but, it's, but it is extraordinarily thin. And also, Jupiter has bands. So here are its bands. Uranus. Uranus is a gas giant which is made up of mostly rock and various ices. Uranus got its blue color from the result of a gas called methane. Methane is found in planets of our atmosphere. Also, Uranus have colored bands like Jupiter and Saturn, but they are hidden from view because of the overlaying methane layer. Like the other gas giant planets, Uranus has rings, and its rings are very dark like Jupiter's. Also, there are 11 known rings, all very faint. Uranus spins differently from most planets. It seems to be tilted sideways instead of the right position. So here there's a picture of Uranus. As you can see, Uranus has a different position. And it said that it had its sideways position because of a big bump in the early history of solar system. Uranus has 50 known moons. The six best known moons of Uranus can be seen on the picture on the bottom. So from left to right, it would be Pop, then Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, then the biggest moon of Uranus, Titania, and Oberon. So Titania is the biggest moon of Uranus and it is the 8th biggest moon in the solar system. Lastly, but not the least, Neptune. Neptune is a gas giant which is most, most likely made up of various ices and rocks. Neptune is like Uranus. It got its blue color from the gas called methane. Also, Neptune's winds are the fastest in the solar system. Why? Because it can reach 2,000 kilometers per hour. So far, the Voyager 2 spacecraft found two really interesting features of Neptune. One of it is the Great Dark Spot. The Great Dark Spot is located in the southern hemisphere. It was about half the size of Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Neptune's winds blew the Great Dark Spot westward at 300 meters per second or 700 kilometers per hour. The scooter. The scooter is another feature of Neptune. The scooter is a smaller dark spot and a small irregular white spot that zipped through Neptune in 16 hours or so. Neptune also has rings. Its complete rings have bright clumps. Like Uranus and Jupiter, its rings are very dark and very faint. Also, the planet has 30 known moons, and Triton is the biggest moon of Neptune. So here are the other names of its moons. Proteus, Nereid, Larissa, Galatea, Suspina, Thalesa, Nea, Calamid, Nisoseo, Lomidia, and Samite. So, yeah. In conclusion, there are many, many very interesting features and facts about the planet. So here are credits, SolarView's nine planets, Keep that mind and Google. So thank you for listening to my presentation and hope you learned something.